we're gonna go ahead and build us a quick little crawfish trap. I built this one a couple years ago and it actually works great. So I got the wires cut out here. I'll go ahead and show you what size I'm using and what I use to put it all together. I got a top and a bottom piece. I used hardware cloth, which is just wire. And this is one inch by half inch. And I went ahead and cut it How many did I do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 inches long and 10 inches wide. And I did two of those for the top and the bottom. I did the sides. They're 18 inches long, of course. And they are 7 inches high. And then I got a couple right here, same size because I got a ramp on each end, and they are five inches tall and ten inches wide. So, like with the top and the bottom, they're gonna fit just like this. And then I got two pieces that are like this that are an inch and a half or three inches wide or deep and they're 10 inches wide and they're like the flapper doors that are going to go above the arm or the crawfish climb up the ramp and this will sit right in there like this so when the crawfish come in there they get in there and then can't get back out. Go ahead and set my pieces aside. We need the bottom. And we need the two sides. And what I use to put them together, they're for building rabbit cages. They're called J clips. They look just like a little J. And they got a special pliers that you use with them and you set it in there and you squeeze it on down and it clamps right down around there. So let's go ahead and I'll do one. <coughs> okay, here's a side and a, the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and you don't want to clamp them too tight because if you got like little jagged ends where you cut the wire off and then you go to try to swing it up, they might catch on each other and you gotta be careful with that. So don't put it too tight. You can tighten everything up after you get it together. So anyway, I got that J clamp inside there like that. Or the just kind of set it in there like this and then you just slowly squeeze down and it curls around just like that and boom there you go let's go ahead and get some of this knocked out real quick I like to just do two or three uh, along each section and then once I get it all put together then I'll go up put more Yeah, these J clips work great. Definitely make building rabbit cages and everything a lot easier. And they just squeeze down just like that, and everything's still flexible. So 
put the other side on. There we go. And you can look at a lot of the traps that you can buy from some of these people that make crawfish traps. And they want a heck of a lot of money for them things. Now, all right, I got the sides together and the bottom. So we'll go ahead and put one of the ramps in right here. All right, here we go. Got that ramp in there. You raise the ramp up along the side. Went ahead and got a few little wire ties. And we're gonna use those. Alright. Just gonna put one on there for now to hold it. And you got your ramp going on right there. You cut those tag ends off in a little bit. Let's put the ramp in the other side. Alright, that's the ramps in there. No way you can see that. Anyway, now go ahead. And I made some little pieces like this <coughs> that are going to go up against the back side of the ramp, right in there, and against the wall. And what happens once you put that top in there, it's going to give it stability. Otherwise, if you just put the top on there and the swing arm, it's not going to be very stable. But in this state, you have to have a safety door. So I'll cut a hole in the side of this because it's got to be in the side and then um, cut out a piece that's three inches or whatever by five on the side and then I will get a bigger piece and then I'll put a couple J hooks on the bottom so the door opens up to the bottom and you got to put a biodegradable string on there so if you lose your trap in the water the door will open up after a week or two and they'll be able to get out. Alright, there we go. The supports are up inside there. You can see them right here. And then I got the ramps on both ends. And actually it's pretty sturdy now. And it's only going to get more once you put the top on. Because you just put the top on just like this. And then you get inside there and you hang the swing door just inside so they climb over the ramp and they can push that swing door out of the way and they get into the food. Let me go get one of my bait stations. This is all I use for a bait station. Fix my lens so I can see. I just went ahead and Put a bunch of J-hooks and cut some little sections and I got a little flat door on there. That's how I do the escape door on the cage too. I just cut it in there and then it can just fall out. You just tie it on with a string. But anyway, what I do is I put, I go to our lo one of our local stores and in the summertime, you know, when they're cutting up their fresh fish and their salmon and stuff, they sell the salmon heads. And I just buy the salmon heads and it's like a buck for a head. And I'll just stick a whole salmon head in there. And that's what I use for my bait. And what I'll do is I'll, once I got the door on the side, I'll put this inside, put some of these wire ties onto it and hold it on the bottom. And that way I can have access into it to put the um, fish head in it. And tie the string on that to hold it closed. And what they do, they can get their claws and their little pincher through that and grab a hold of the little pieces of the flesh. And once they're in there anyway, as long as, you know, the bigger ones with this trap, it's going to keep them in there. So, that's the main thing. You just want to get them in there. 
but they're some sneaky little boogers though. They will, if they can, they will find a way out. See, look at that. Solid cage, and it's nice and sturdy. This one's actually a lot smaller than this one here, the first one I built. And I found it to be a little too big. And when they're this big, this, they're not quite as sturdy because they got too much flexibility room. And they're like this size right here. What did I say, it's 10 inches wide by 20 inches or 18 inches long. That's the perfect size, it is nice and firm. And I don't even have all the clamps on yet. I said I got the top on like that, so I'll go ahead and I'll hang these hangers in there real quick. There you go, just like that. Uh, well, you can see that, but see that? Just. <coughs> Dang it. You can see it from the side right there? It just swings back and forth. And I got it so it's about an inch from the top of the, or the, from the ramp, so they can crawl in there and drop in there, but then they just aren't going to be able to just kick their way back out. Especially if they're the bigger ones. I mean, you can actually put that closer if you wanted to. The other one I did, I could have went on this cross beam right here and then it would have been touching it, which those crawfish are pretty good sized out here, so they're easily gonna be able to move that door like that right there. If you clamp down these really tight, then they'll just stick open or close or whatever and they won't be able to meander around in there. And you don't want that, you want them being able to get right in there and think they're gonna get a nice meal. Okay, nice and loose. There you go, see that right there? Just like that. This one and closes, same with the other end. Opens and closes. And you got your ramp in there. Okay, now what I'm gonna end up doing is cutting a hole right here, cutting out a chunk, and then putting two of the clamps on it and create a door. It'll be just a door just like this. And what I'll do is um, tie some heavy string up here towards the, um, not on the swing arm of course, like I'll tie strings right here in the corners and then I will go up and then I'll um, have a cross string like that and then I'll have a main line hook to that. That way you can drop it in square and then lift it right straight back out. And I'm fishing mine in little cricks and stuff so I can just toss them out but if I drop them off a bridge I want to be able to just drop them right straight down in there. So if you string it right here and here and then just kind of loop it and then tie your main line right to the center of that where it can just go right straight up and down. All right. That is a perfect little crawfish trap. It'll work great. <coughs> Does the big one work? So this one will work too. Look at that. Like I said, you want to make sure it goes are loose. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put more clamps on this thing. Put a couple more wire ties. Alright. Perfect trap. Thanks for watching. Bye.